So in my previous webinars, I've shown this slide, and this kind of gives us a breakdown as to the flow of information anytime you want to implement some sort of uh, automation, particularly if it's like a product configurator. Um, in our previous webinars, we were focusing on you know, what does the business logic look like if I need to use iLogic or if I need to use uh, VB.net uh, in order to create an add-in, in order to work with the inventor application. Now, sometimes within our uh, enterprise environments, we have MRP and ERP systems or other pre-sales business systems that might uh, accumulate or acquire some information and populate uh, some sort of database. Well, why not leverage that database? We're not, why not reuse that information? Um, so this workflow kind of breaks down what that might look like in terms of where that information might reside and then how do we access it? So we can use our business logic, uh, iLogic uh, or an add-in or something to uh, go and grab information from an external data source and then process that information here uh, inside of the inventor application, consuming different inventor files, be it IPTs, IAMs, IDWs, DWGs, in order to uh, fulfill the requirement in terms of our automation. You know, if it's a product configurator, we may want to adjust the size, the shape, the material. Uh, we may take those components then that we've then uh, manipulated and bring them into an, an assembly to build out a particular configuration. And we've demonstrated that uh, many times, and that's very common information and it's, it's readily available. But what do you do after you have that? Once you have that configuration, you have those assemblies, then you know, uh, most companies, they, they want to be able to generate uh, supporting documentation, 2D drawing, some mechanism or means in order to understand, well, how do I put something together? If I have to fabricate or manufacture something, what are those dimensions? How, what does that look like? So we need detailed drawing information in order to go through that process of manufacturing, fabricating, assembling, uh, things along those lines. So in this webinar, that's what we're going to be talking about is how do we expedite the process once we have models generated uh, in order to develop 2D documentation, primarily uh, drawing. So um, that's the breakdown of the workflow.